Okay, Potter's Journal here again at the Weaver's Shop. <laughs> oh no, not another one. Where did this come from? Uh, you know, I've had this a oh. long time. It's been in the pump house and in the garage, and I've worked on it, and, you know, different times. Okay, and I guess it needed cleaned up? Oh, it was a mess. I, I thought I was going to have to var uh, to paint it, and... And you're doing what to it? I'm, well, I cleaned it up, and I decided to try to get the original finish back, and I'm doing it, I think. Um... Oh, this so, one's got a seat and a back. Yes, yes. Oh, great. So you got to get somebody to pay for you doing both a seat and a back. <laughs> yeah, well, so, I actually am going to enter... I mean, that would be double the cost of it. Yeah, it yeah. would be. Uh, but it, it is a different kind of rocker. It didn't have... Um, it had some kind of plastic webbing on it. Oh, where's that? It's in the house. Okay, yes, okay. Uh, Show that sometime. Plastic yeah. webbing is a seat. Yeah, was it? Well, yeah, it was a piece, a whole piece, and it was stapled on. Uh, oh, it staple. was like a weave. Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, so, I I'm going to put a narrow uh, reed on it. No. Oh. In a herringbone pattern. Okay. Have you picked Somewhat a like color? That. No, I haven't. That's a big choice right now. Uh, okay. That material here I dyed, and I wasn't happy with the color, but I think I still may use it on this chair. Oh, okay, on the one up there. Yeah. Okay, so you don't know what you're putting on the little one yet. No, it'll, it'll probably be a natural. Okay, well, it looks like you've got a supervisor to keep you going on this. We'll stop back later and see uh, what you decide to put on here. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, have a decision by then. How many different choices of colors are there? Well, there's lots of them. <laughs> What's that, yellow? Yellow. Actually, I'd yellow. like to do it in the yellow, but there isn't enough here oh, to do oh, it. Oh, red blue. Oh, these are all the same color. Oh, yeah, no. they're grays and different shades of blues and green. Uh -huh. That's the size I'd like to use. But it's, uh -huh. it's a greeny gray and I don't want to put that on there. I want the chair to be, that rocker to be lively. Yeah. So. Well, just put some little kid on it, rocking it back and forth and busting it up when they're jumping on it and it'll be lively. Okay, well, we'll stop back and see what happens here. Yeah. So it's another day in the Weaver's uh, Journal. What's happening here today? Yeah. Okay, you're wor <coughs> working on this thing. Yes, I am. Wow. So you've picked a pattern. Yeah. You picked a color. You picked a material. That looks like, is that going to be an arrow or is it going to be a diamond? It's going to be a diamond. And okay. This will be the arrow. Okay. I, um, I worked it out on paper today. Uh, oh, on, on just a scrap of paper, or do you have a weaver's journal that you put all the notes in? Uh, actually, I just put it on a scrap of paper okay. because I need to keep it. Well, the color looks good. This is I, one of the ones, but then you debate every single one you do about the color and what, how to do it in the pattern. You don't ever put a seat on anything. Yeah, I, uh, I'm real happy with the color. Okay. It's very muted and it's very... Yes. Oh, okay. So it's you got to do the back shows too, whereas normally oh, a on a seat, pattern. yeah, normally on the seat you don't even see the back. Yeah, <laughs> this is hard too because I got to hide all the knots and the. Um, mm. Anything yeah. particular to this chair that you don't run into in others? Uh, well, there was no place to put clamps. 
Uh, usually I can clamp, you know, when I weave, but I have to, uh, or so when what I do wrap you do? It, I know you're not clamping. I use clothespins. No. Oh. And I manage to get it done. Um, Anything interesting stuffed inside of it? Not yet, but I'm going to have to quit halfway because I want it to dry so that if I need to slide it up so that the um, the uh, diamond is, you know, right in the center. See, it has to, I'll yeah. work down to here and then I'll let it dry all night. And I may wrap the seat, but I'll, I'm going to fill it with my, you know, history. Uh, this okay. chair just had some kind of plastic woven yeah, okay. thing. Okay, well, we'll have to look at that and check in again another day at the Weaver's studio. It's early morning in the Weaver shop. And you're still at it. This is the back? Yeah, and I'm going to... Okay. Just getting ready to stuff it with the time capsule. Okay. Um, I put my name and address on a little note in the previous... previous piece of material oh. that was on it. This is what was Here's, on it before. Yeah, it was stapled on. Here's the... Okay, so it looks like some kind of plastic weave material. Yes. It was just stapled on. Yeah. Was it, it original or the way somebody had fixed it? You know, I have no signs of it done previously with anything else. Okay. But it was done sloppily. It wasn't yeah. done really like a... And it's a nice chair, so you'd think it would be done nicely if that was original. So the back is just what a basic pattern yeah, yeah. Okay. and what um the kind of material is this uh it's reed uh okay. it's an oval flat oval reed which is a little bit harder to do and that's why i kind of am anxious to get it done now i was a little disappointed how i'm going to do a diamond and i was a little disappointed that the center and this was the center of the chair and i want to change directions i wished it wasn't over for this one Oh, but okay. I, I'm lucky that... Actually, I actu like that. Uh, well, actually, I'm lucky that it ended there. You know what I mean? It's just... It could have been worse. Mm -hmm. And I am weaving with three weavers on this. Uh, this, it's narrow well, material. What does that mean? Well, usually I weave with one if it's a wide material. Okay. So... And I see we're going to get a little ra rain. I might have to move mm. inside. Okay, well. Yeah, now i got to stuff this, so um, it's going to be a little difficult, but I'm going to try. I think I this side might be easier. And my material underneath got chewed up a little bit. And so until this they quit printing newspapers. <laughs> Many of your older pieces have Had newspaper dated, in as yes. a time capsule and dated. Yeah, but um, so we'll have to. Well, they're still printing them, but we don't put it on a them. disc and put a Once disc of some started, kind in there. It'll go in, uh, and then th I put it in an envelope because the varnish will seep, mm -hmm. maybe seep through, and that way they'll be able to take the envelope box and what's in the contents. Okay, well, we'll have to stop back when you get to the seat. Yeah, I'm hoping to get to that today. Oh. Just to wrap it, at least. Uh, I'm going to have to get some kind of knife. Don't. Just don't step on my material. Cause I'm okay, let's see how things are going in the Weaver studio. Oh, look at that. You're on the floor now, or on the seat now. Is that what it's yep. called? Okay. Yep, I'm on the seat. But so the top's finished. Yep. And okay. the shame of it is, if I would have started with this one up top, which would have worked, I would have eliminated this one and it would have been perfect. Okay, well, I guess you're the only one that knows what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, I'm... Okay, so the chassis started now too. Yep, and, and that's going to be just that'll like an be arrow. an arrow that um, points up to that. 
It'll be like the Okay, well, we can't wait to see this one, how this turns out. So, far, so what so else is here in the Weaver studio? There's at least one loom back there, more chairs, weaving materials, more chairs to weave, more weaving materials. Oh, look at that. Is that another loom under there? Okay, well, we'll stop back to see how this comes out. It's a little bit wet, but you're still at it. What's this, the last step? Yeah. 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 Okay. And I have to put on two coats to get it on thin enough because it's, you know, it's. I don't want it caking on here. And what's that do to it? It seals it, keeps the dirt off uh, of it. What is it? It's, um, well, now I used to call everything varnish, but it's polyurethane or okay. something. Urethane. Um. And the chair's done too. Okay, this is it. Woven all the way to the bottom. You got that arrow pointing right up to that diamond in the back. Okay, so I guess the next time we see this, it'll be at the um, Hookstown Fair or at the Farmer's Market with somebody buying it and carrying it out. Okay, stop back for that. Yeah, they closed the last... Um, Pantheon store down in Columbiana. That's 28 years ago. Right, here we go. This is it. This is that special little chair that's going to be an heirloom for some little guy. What, what's his name? Logan. Logan, all right. Okay, this is that chair. Wow, the special heirloom chair for some special little guy. Is it a rocker or a chair? Okay, great happy ending for that chair. Well, we have to wait for Sarah to come up. Yeah, Logan, he's so cute. Just the front